Hello and welcome to more Donkey Kong 64. I feel like we've been here before, dude. We're starting the episode exactly like we did in the last one. Except today is going to be a bit different, because we're not going back to Angry Aztec. We're done with that crowd. We're moving on, and we're going to finally unlock the next stage. So let's head on over and take warp number one. That'll put us right, uh, right by where we want to be, but I'm not going to go inside, dude. Forget that crowd. I'm going to go around to the back, because over here we're going to have something we can unlock as Lanky Kong with his grape shooter. So let's go and shoot that crud. And it's just gonna open up a golden banana. Just like we have in all of the stages that we go into after unlocking B-Locker and going through the DK portals, all that crud. We also have five golden bananas per Kong on DK Isles as well. So lots to get. Still very, very far to go for those ones. We're barely scratching the surface of DK Isles. But let's get back inside and let's unlock the next stage. So go jam that key in that hole and unlock door number two. Or I guess lock number two. Dude, he's so happy. Oh, good job, K Lumsy. You do your little dance, buddy. I don't know why his dance causes the effects that it does. Sometimes it unlocks, it'll like break a rock, but why does his dance make this platform right here raise upwards? I don't know why that's the thing, but uh, there you go. Why does his dance make this door open? I don't know, man. And why does this dance make this gate back here open? I don't know. Don't question it, guys. He's k -Lumsy. He's basically magical. So we're gonna go ahead and unlock that crud. But I want to go and get a DK dirt that's kind of hiding back here. And I showed this off before, but there is a blue button here. And over on the other side is also a barrel with Lanky's face on it. Because that is a Lanky golden banana, but we still can't get it with our current moveset. We're gonna have to get something else. So let's go and grab this. And we're gonna go back to the tag barrel, guys, because we are done with Lanky Kong. We're not gonna be playing him anymore for today. Or are we? <laughs> today, we're gonna be playing as Donkey. I feel like Donkey makes the most sense to play first in the next stage, so that's what we're gonna be doing. So let's hop in warp number one and go back on to the tag barrel and go to Donkey. I do want to show you guys real quick, though, the little gate that opened underwater and the door that opened up top, those are actually two separate levels. After finishing off Angry Aztec, we get access to level 3 and 4, so level 4 is through this one. I'll go ahead and show you guys, but I won't be playing this one yet, even though we could. Uh, it requires 30 golden bananas to open, and because we've been collecting so much, we have more than 30. So we'll swim on through here, and up this way, you're going to see that we have a little switch right here with Chunky Kong's face on it, as well as the green-haired Kasplat for DK Isles. The thing is, guys, the reason I want to play the other stage first is because that is where we're going to get Chunky Kong. So I want to get him before coming here. But as you can see, 30 golden bananas is all we would need. So we could do it. But yeah, I want to go to the other stage so that we can get, uh, we can get Chunky Kong. So let's swim back out of here. Just wanted to show that you could go here if you want. Pretty cool that the game doesn't make you play the levels in a very particular order like that. So let's go up this way, and we'll take that platform that raised up. A little bit hard to jump up there as Donkey. He's not the best jumper, but we'll try. Can we even grab onto it? Probably not. I'm just going to do a backflip here. It's a little bit easier to get up with a higher backflipper like Diddy Kong, for example, but I do want to play Donkey, even though there's a tag barrel coming up, because there is going to be a golden banana we get as Donkey as well. So I definitely want him up here. Now, if you do have trouble making that jump, you could always just... Uh, go up to the tag barrel and then bring donkey back down but look at that view holy crud it's beautiful man so you can see an island floating up in the sky over there over here we have angry aztec and then of course well the rest of it so awesome awesome place and right here we have some vines which i'm gonna skip i'm just gonna drop directly down and that is where we have to hit this switch here to unlock a golden banana so there's i think the second one for donkey Let's go grab it. So we're up to two out of five. Poor Diddy still doesn't have a single one from DK Isles. Poor guy. Let's go drop right back down here, though. I guess I kind of probably could have made that jump so I didn't have to backflip up here again, but now yeah, we're fine. No, we're not fine, dude. We're not fine. Come on, Donkey. We got to do better. There's that. And we made it. And you might have noticed that this area, this uh, K Rules Isle thing in the middle, one of the laggiest parts of the entire game. So just climbing this, some parts it can almost feel like slow motion, but 
I don't know, it's kind of weird, because when you play this game for a long time, you start to kind of forget the lag is happening, even though it kind of happens a lot. But yeah, I don't even really notice that much anymore. So let's go over here, and let's jump across. And inside here is nothing too important for now, but this is where Snide's HQ is for DK Isles. We don't have any blueprints, but yeah, we also have this uh, battle arena pad with a rock on top. We can't do anything with that, as well as a Diddy switch, which we can't do anything with that either. So just wanted to show this exists, but nothing to really do over here. You know, it's kind of weird because nowadays it's very common to play with very high frame rates and it's almost considered a standard for games to be 60 FPS, and if games are below 60, it's considered pretty low. But I'm so used to gaming, you know, back in the day at 30 FPS, and so many games lagged, and I had a bad computer back in the day. I tried to play EverQuest 2 when that first came out in 2004. My computer could barely run that crud. The loading screens were like several minutes long. And yeah, I was pretty used to playing at like 15 FPS in games. It wasn't that uncommon for me. So I guess the little slight lag like this never really bothered me that much. But up this way, guys, we've got warp number four, and now we will never have to make that climb again. We can just use the warp pad if we want to get up here. And let's go inside the lobby to the next stage. Inside here, we immediately have a new enemy. This is a mechanical zinger, very similar to the regular zingers, but they'll take two shots from our gun to kill. And also, they'll never do a dive attack. They only drop grenades, so we don't have to worry about them diving at us. And they tend to move a little bit more slowly, I feel like, so they're a bit easier to shoot. But two shots and down they go. And that's really all we can do here in this little lobby. We have a lever, but <laughs> believe it or not, we have to actually get a cranky ability just to even pull a lever, so we can't pull that. And then over here we've got this box. Can't do anything with that either, so... Yeah, I'm just pointing things out that we will eventually interact with. I know it might be annoying that I'm constantly saying, we can't do anything with this, but I just want to point it out so you guys know it's there for when we come back to it eventually. But let's go and talk to B-Locker and get to our next stage. Come on, I haven't got all day. Show me the bananas and I'm out of this dump. So 15 golden bananas is all you need. Really not that many. Let's go inside and let's get a spooky cutscene. Okay, you kicked their butts, Diddy. You do it, man. But everyone, welcome to Frantic Factory. Buckle in and get used to this one because we are going to be here for a while. Frantic Factory will be our home for several episodes. And just as we step in, we can immediately see Chunky Kong is alive. He's not dead, guys. Holy crud. Help me. Chunky d doesn't like heights. All right, Chunky. We'll maybe save you. I'll think about it. First, I want to focus on getting some warps. The game immediately gives you three warps right at the start, as well as a new enemy. These are Robo Kremlings. Oh, third warp. Let's go grab that real quick. Now, these guys, we can attack them. They're not going to die, though. So these are another enemy that we have to kill with either our instrument or with uh, this crud. I think the slam might kill them. Unlike the purple uh, clap traps, I think this does kill them. So, they're not as strong as Purple Claptraps, and they also drop two slices of watermelon when you kill them. So, not bad. Now, over this way, we're gonna have a little window into uh, this little room here where Snide's HQ is. Get used to windows, guys. Lots of windows in this one. This level is basically a gigantic maze. It is crazy. Hopefully, I'll be able to show it off in a way that makes sense, but yeah, this level is pretty wild. Let's go over and grab some ammo here. And I want to hit the switch, because... That's going to open up a path. Very important. No face on that one. I'm pretty sure any Kong could hit that one. You'll see some yellow bananas down this way. And after we hit that switch, it will open up a door right here. Or I guess a hatch, technically. Not a door. It's a floor door. So we'll go back this way. And you know what? I will go ahead and grab some oranges. And over this way, there's nothing important for now because we do have a window here. Can't go through the window. And over here, we have a wall. Or a cage, I guess. And we're gonna have to hit a switch to open that one, so we can't go through there now. I will go ahead and grab... <laughs> I already went that way. I want to grab some more oranges, though, just because we will need lots of them for the Robo Kremlings. Unlike clumps and purple claptraps, which drop oranges when you kill them, these guys do not, so you really gotta keep your orange supply up if you want to deal with them properly. 
Or, of course, you can just use crystal coconuts to take them down or your instrument if you do run out of oranges, but yeah. So we'll go ahead and walk through here. And let's go down the hatch. We'll just grab onto this guy. You know what? Let's go take a view. Let's go take a view. They give us all these windows to view the stage, so we might as well go and look through here. So there's a big pipe we're going to have to walk up Linky with. And a pretty interesting room down there. So let's go ahead and grab this guy and go on down. And there's a little cutout on the side here. So we could jump into that. That was a little janky, but we we're in there. Now, right here is just some purple bananas, so nothing too much there. So let's go back down some more and keep on going down. And we'll jump off here and grab ourselves a few yellow bananas. So here is the bottom of that floor we were just looking at. It's a really crazy room. That one's going to be nuts when we eventually get to that one. Let's go through here and grab some banana camera film or banana film. Ah, I forget the exact name, but it's banana film crud. Work our way to this next room here. And this is a level where we're going to start having the problem. You guys might have heard this complaint about Donkey Kong 64, where you will very often find other Kong's items, and we're not going to be able to pick them up yet. That is going to be very, very noticeable in this in this level, but ah, it's fine. So here we've got a bunch of stuff for Diddy, and along the edges we have switches for all of the Kongs except for Donkey. There's one for every other Kong, but not Donkey. But here we can go ahead and grab warp number four. I do want some watermelon here. So yeah, along the edges, lots of stuff for the other Kongs. I just want to show that all off. But that's about it. So we're just going to move on with Donkey for now. There is this little map, by the way. So there's four different tiers to this uh, factory. Right now we're on the bottom level. And we've got to work our way to the top, collecting stuff as we go. And most importantly, getting lots of warp pads so we can banana port everywhere, which is going to make things a lot easier. So now let's go to the storage room. And up this way, this is actually where Chunky Kong is right up there inside the cage. He's super obvious and super easy to save. The only thing is, we're gonna have to use Lanky Kong to get him, guys. So this is not a Lanky episode, but I am gonna go ahead and free Chunky just because I feel, I'd feel bad if I just left him in there until Lanky's episode. So all we have to do to, to unlock this guy is go up this way, do a ring stand, walk up here, and hopefully not miss that banana. And we have to go hit the switch. I'll try to remember to mention that I grabbed these bananas. Uh, once we get to Lanky's episode, I'll try to mention that we've already got these. But you hit that crud, and down he goes, man. It's just that easy. Chunky free now. Thank you, friend Lanky. Chunky can collect green bananas. And you wait in tag barrel until you need help. By the way, speaking of colored bananas, in the last episode I was talking about how gross and unnatural blue bananas seemed, but apparently... Not only blue bananas, but even purple bananas are real. So all of the colors of bananas that we have in this game, the yellow, the blue, the purple, the green, and the red, apparently those all exist in nature as actual bananas. I don't know about golden bananas, but everything else I think actually exists, which is pretty wild and kind of gross, but I don't know, maybe cool. So then we'll grab warp number one, and now let's go use this to play a barrel course. Now, this one's gonna have a ton of bananas, so I gotta be very careful not to miss those cruds. It's gonna be 20 bananas in here. Okay, looking good so far. One more to get. Now, this one is gonna loop around. If we take the top shot, that'll lead us to a different barrel than if we take this bottom shot. So we'll go for the bottom one to get the bananas, but then this one's gonna just loop back around, so we have to play some of the course again. Now we'll take that shot, and this will lead us over to the switch. So we go ahead and hit that one, and of course hitting those switches is usually pretty handy. Now this one is going to spawn another lever in front of an arcade cabinet. We'll get to that today, and it is very evil, but we'll do it. Over here we could recharge our sound if we wanted, I haven't really used any, but I guess because you only start with five when you turn your game on, I've only had five. So I'm going to go up this way. Hello, I am currently inserting this clip because I forgot to hit this button while I was playing this section, so I'm going to edit back to here in the future and hit this button. You'll see me hit it. Because up here we're going to have a room that has not just Candy Kong, but Cranky Kong as well. As well as a yellow balloon here. Let's try to get that. Eh. Come on, this balloon is particularly crazy. Come on. Ah. Ah. Come on, dude! Okay, patience. Just be patient. There we go. Holy crud, guys. So, this room is going to have a Candy Kong building, but I've already got all the instruments for all of my guys except for Chunky, so eventually I will need to buy that with him, but everyone else, she's not going to have crud for us, so I'm not too worried about that. But I do want to get some new abilities from Cranky. Now right here we've got a tag barrel, so I could swap over and just go buy everyone's abilities right now, 
fight. I'm just gonna wait until each Kong's individual episode and buy it then. So right here, a new upgrade, and this one costs seven Banana Bunch coins, which, I mean, kinda sounds like a lot compared to previous things we've bought, but considering we have 55, it's still basically nothing. So there we go, Gorilla Grab Simium Stranus. With that, we can go and grab those levers. Still a little bit ridiculous that you have to buy an entire upgrade just to pull a lever. I don't know how exactly that works, but there you go. It's kind of like in role-playing games when certain characters can't hold certain weapons. It's like, why can my guy not just hold a sword? Like, maybe he's not trained in swords, but he should be able to at least hold it. No, he can hold the staff, but he can't hold that sword, dude. It's not gonna happen. We'll go through here. And now we're gonna work our way towards where that lever was next to that arcade cabinet. On this other side, we're gonna have this cage. Now, once we get a new ability on Chunky Kong, he can knock that down, so that's kind of a Chunky Kong room. So I'm gonna save that until we get to Chunky's episode. And the main reason I wanted to save Chunky now instead of waiting is just so as we go throughout the stage, you'll get to see all of the green bananas and all the green coins that we're skipping. So that way, when we come back to it, you'll have a somewhat of an idea of where things are. For example, right over here, we've got another Chunky Kong room with some coins in it. So we'll go over this way next. And inside here is the arcade cabinet, as well as warp number five. So we'll grab that. We got some tiny stuff back there. Some ditty stuff over, I guess just these bananas over here. But yes, I have to go and play the arcade game, guys. And this is the actual Donkey Kong arcade game. Let's pull it and get started. I am not very good at the Donkey Kong arcade game, and it can be pretty challenging. So we'll see how we do, guys. Donkey Kong from 1981. This is a very old game. Actually 30, no, is that 40? 40 years old as of this year. You can see my high scores. That's from a different save file. So I think the save files uh, save high scores across the whole cartridge. I'm not exactly sure. But yeah, I got my JPEG right there. Those are my initials. Well, here we go. Wish me luck. By the way, you can actually use the D-pad to play this one. So, let's go. Just have to get to the top and save the princess, I guess, or whoever that is. I think that's Pauline, technically. I don't, I don't think there's Princess uh, Princess Peach there. We can jump over the barrels by pressing A. We can grab those hammers to actually break some of these barrels as well. So I might as well grab that just to show that off here. So we have to jump into it, and let's go. And by the way, you do not want to walk off of any of these ledges, because this game you die very, very easily if you fall even a small height. So if we walk off a ledge, we're probably going to die. Let's wait for that one to go down. Sometimes the barrels will go down the ladders as well. I'm going to wait until I have a good gap here. There we go. And I'm going to hang out for just a bit, guys. You don't have to do this, but I want to go ahead and farm up some points and get myself closer to getting a 1-up. I believe we get a 1-up if we get 10,000 points. Now, as we jump over this, you will see on the right we have a bonus timer. It is going down as we go. You know what? I'll just go ahead and finish here. Uh, but the bonus timer goes down. Sometimes you can get more points from jumping the barrels than the bonus would make up for. But I also wanted some bonus points. So let's go over here and grab this bad boy. And then we'll go up. And we might as well go grab the hammer and brick ourselves some pies. So level two here is the pie factory. There's four levels in total we have to get through. So I just want to break some of these guys to get some points. You can jump over these guys, but it's pretty hard because you might not be able to tell, but I'm on a conveyor belt. There's a couple different conveyor belts here. And while you're standing on them, the game's pulling you left and right. So right here, for example, I'm kind of slow, so I want to go to this side. Can I jump it? Got it! I want to get on that ladder. Okay, wait for it to go up. And for this one, all you have to do is get to here. You, you don't have to go all the way to the top. Oh, so close to 10,000. If I can get a little bit more points, we're good. We'll only have one life to start, by the way, guys. So, yeah, you cannot die. Let me go up here and grab this umbrella. So that's 10,000. I don't know if it'll give us the one up before we beat the level. Let's go ahead and jump here. And you have to be very, very careful with these jumps. If your head hits the ceiling, you die. If you fall more than, like, in, uh, two pixels, you die. So you want to wait very late for your jumps there. Let's wait for this one. Go, go, go. Okay. And... No, nope, gotta go back. Gotta go back. Oop. No, dude! I goofed. I wall jumped, which kind of confused me, and then I just walked off the side and died. Thankfully, I got that one up, I think, so I got the extra life, but now I have no spare lives for the next stage, which is not good at all. Let's go across. Okay, got that one. So we have to dodge that spring and the fire at the same time. And I really can't overstate, guys. You really gotta be careful with the height you jump at, because if you fall, like, one extra inch while going off those platforms, you're just gonna die. It's 
pretty ridiculous. It actually throws you off, like, how, how stingy it is. So we have to time this. Let's get right to the edge and then go. Go, 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 go. And we're up there. Okay, so one stage to go, but I don't have my extra life now. So this is going to be scary. I have to do this first try, I think. Let's go. So what we have to do is walk back and forth and knock down all eight of these pegs. You can walk over them while they're going, but as soon as you've got it uncovered, you have to jump over those pits. Now, these fire guys are going to keep on spawning and spawning, which is very evil. And the thing is, these guys cannot walk over the holes that you make as well. Oh, gosh. Uh, I kind of want to grab this and try to knock these guys out. Will any of them be nice enough to come down here and walk into my hammer? None of them! Come on, dude. Okay, okay. We got that one, at least. Can we get this one? Come on. Nope. Okay, we have to get those last two, but there's so much fire. Can we get this? Nope, nope, nope. Going, going. Go. Oh, gosh. Turn around. Please go up the ladder. No, dude. Can I jump him? No, nope, he turned around. Gosh dang it, man. <sighs> Gotta start over now. I'll meet you guys back here. We'll try again. Yeah, you can very easily spend a long time here because it takes a long time just to restart. You have to wait. Pull the thing again, get the lame, uh, get the game loaded back up. Ugh. Let's just pretend that didn't happen. Oh, I died. I got impatient and I jumped too soon. Yeah, you gotta be very careful. All right, let's try this one again. This time we're not gonna die. No jumping on, no fireman, no hot butts for us. No hot crust, crust buns. I don't know what that is, man. What the crud is a crossed bun? Let's go down, grab Mr. Hammer, bring it on you, Crawd. You can still walk across those, uh, the yellow little blocks if you've got the hammer, but you can't jump. So we can't jump over them, so we're kind of stuck. That's why I'm not grabbing the hammer too often, is you do get a little bit stuck. Okay, we're gonna run away from that guy. Dude, we got a clear space down here. The fire's coming, though. Oh, we're gonna get it, we're gonna get it. Boom, as soon as you get the last one, you win. And there it is, guys. Donkey is defeated. Even though we're playing Donkey Kong 64, where Donkey's the hero. But, alright guys, let's go put in my initials here. Got a little bit of JPEG action. I don't know why the delete button is called Rub, but also the instant death spell in Final Fantasy 1 was called Rub as well, so maybe somehow Rub is related to, like, destroying? I don't know, man. We're rubbing one out of existence. Got ourselves a golden banana, though. But guys, you can't just stop there. We have to play again, but this time with a higher difficulty. Oh, hey, Squawk. Squawk, now you've been, now you've warmed up. How about trying to win a unique special prize by completing it again? Just two coins to play again. So we have to play two coins. Thankfully, this is a one-time fee. You don't have to spend it every single time, otherwise you'd probably end up spending it a lot, because when you play it again here, it is even more challenging. So let's see how we do here, guys. Let's see if I can be a good video game player and get this first try. Let's go, dude. Yeah, we're not trying to save Pauline. We're trying to save uh, a Nintendo coin. Yep, that's what we're going for, guys. I'm a coin collector. So things are gonna be even more difficult now. The barrels, they're gonna be coming at a very fast rate. And these barrels are gonna be more than likely to take the ladders here as well. Just gotta be very careful watching out for these guys. Okay, good so far. Come up, up, up. Good. Sometimes the barrels will come really close to each other and that's where things get very scary. Good so far. I'm waiting for him to throw one down. There we go. So that should give me an opening and now I can go up. Jump over here. And we got it. All right. So that's it for the first round. But we got level two coming up and this one is not going to be a cakewalk. It's going to be a pie factory. There's no cakes here, dude. All right, let's go. There's going to be two fires this time, I think. Yep, two fires, so double the trouble. Let's go ahead and grab this and instantly delete one of those fires. Get out of here, pie! Come on, other fire, come down! Come down! Yes, we got him! Okay, fire gone. Fire bad, fire evil, fire gone. Let's just go up as soon as we can. Yeah, we can't climb while we have the hammer out. Let's go over this way and once again, just gotta grab this ladder. Oh, pie coming! Oh, pie! Oh, we're over the pie! And as soon as this goes up, we're good. Yeah, when you're on the ladder, even when it's lowered, you can still hang on to it and go over the pie there. All right, level three. This one is very crazy. That spring moves very fast now. Here we go. Okay. Good. Go, 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 go. Come on, come on. Yes! Got it. Don't jump too soon. Wait for it. 
Good. Okay, let's go right past. Go, 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 go. Yep. And go, 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 go. Okay. Oh, that almost got me. That was so close. Okay. Now, here is the hard part, guys. This right here is super tight to time. We have to go, like, right on the edge. And as soon as he goes, right now. I got it. Holy crud. Oh, okay. One stage to go. Oh, there's gonna be so much fire. So much fire. Let's get it, guys. If I can get a good use of one of those hammers, that will definitely help out a lot. Let's go up. Go around. Don't let him get me. Okay, good so far. I'm getting trapped, I'm getting trapped. No! Go away! Go away! Okay, stay down. Good. Okay. Let me down. Going across. Oh, where are they going? Okay, okay, okay. Just go. They're trying to chase me down. I will not have it. I need that hammer so bad. Don't go up here. Don't go up. Leave me alone! Ah! Uh, 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 uh. No! Yes! Yes, he went down! He went down the ladder! I got it, dude! If he went across, I would have had to go around. Oh my gosh, I'm so happy he went down. Oh, the true romance. The truest romance. The OTP. Jumpman with Nintendo coin. That deserves a JPEG. Not even my highest score, apparently, but... Oh, well. Hit him with that JPEG. Dude, I was so worried I was going to be stuck here all day. But we're not stuck here all day. We're good. Oh, my name was registered. I almost have the entire high score page right there. And there it is, guys. A very unique collectible. And if we even go and look at our totals here... It's actually going to show up as its own thing. One out of one for Nintendo coin. So that one is completely done, guys. We got it. Oh, gosh. All right. So with that, let's go ahead and continue the stage. So we're going to go all the way back and take warp one here. I think... Gosh, I'm brain farting. Okay, it's not that way. It's got to be this way. So we'll go down this way and take warp one just to get back to the start. I like to drop down a little bit there. And I'm not going to deal with Mr. Kasplat. So the first warp is over in the corner here. Let's go take it. There's still lots of stuff to collect here. And now I want to go to this newly opened path, the one that we hit that switch for. Oh, wait. I didn't open it. I forgot to hit the button. <laughs> let's go back. Okay, let's actually hit the button now. Kaboom! And that opens this gate down here. And now it's open! I can't believe I forgot to hit that button, dude. Anyways, let's go up this way. Dodging all kinds of purple crud. Ooh, camera, please. I want to go back here and grab some film. We are going to have a banana fairy I want to get to at some point, so the more film, the better. And here we have the testing depth, testing department, I guess. And inside here, we're going to have... This guy just chilling? Okay, you wind up, bro. You wind up. Uh, I want to go to the left path first. Because over here, we're going to have a little path that will lead down to where Snide's HQ was. And I don't actually have any blueprints right now, but I would like to get warp 3. Just to uh, give myself a little bit of an easier time. So we got that crud, and I just want to show around here. We've got a balloon. I think that one's for Tiny Kong, as well as some coins and stuff for Chunky. But nothing down here for Donkey. So let's get back out. I just went down there for the warp, of course. And now we're going to go back and take the other path here. Let's get past that guy and go past all these purple bananas. And that is a room I'm going to want to get to pretty soon. But right now, once again, we just got a window there. Now in this room, we're going to have a couple of new enemies. Right here, well, we got Kasplat, but right there is Mr. Dice, that little red guy. And there's another new enemy as well over here, which is Sir Domino. Those guys are basically like naughties. They only take one hit of damage to kill. They're kind of pathetic, so consider them basically naughties. So nothing too scary from those. Let's go ahead and grab these yellow banana coins. And then I want to go up over this way. Oh, it's a little bit too slow. Yeah, I want to ride this block. It's going to burst out of the bee. And over here we've got Funky Kong, and we have something to actually buy from Funky Kong as well, so that's exciting. Let's go inside and see what we got. And it's not too expensive, we've got just three coins here. Uh, take a look at this ammo belt, Donkey. Funky Kong dudes get to carry more than ammo for just three coins. Yeah, three coins is amazing to buy that. So, ammo belt one, that's gonna bring us up to 100 shots. So, doubling what we had before. Okay, Donkey, you're now maxed out at 100 shots. So very, very worth it for just three coins. And that's for all the Kongs. We don't have to go and buy that over and over and over again or anything like that. So looking good there. We're done with this room. Let's go back over this way now. And we're going to go and find another block here. 
There's a block, the middle one here, which leads to another side path. Let's go get on top of this. And once again, I was a little bit too slow. And you might have heard the sneaky little banana fairy. We're going to have to take a picture of them. So let's go up. And right over here, let's go whip out our camera. Did I get it? I think they might have flown right into it. Dude, I got so lucky. I just kind of pushed the button and it just flew into it. Wow. So that'll restore a whole bunch of crud as usual. And once we go through this hallway, we'll be halfway done with our bananas here. So here is going to be another golden banana, but I want to go and shoot this crud. Got it. As well as grab these very sneaky yellow coins in the corner here. And now let's go hit the switch. Now for this game, we're going to only have one minute on the clock, and we have to hit all 16 numbers in order with our ground pound. But one thing to note, if you hit the wrong switch with the ground pound, it just doesn't work. It's not going to like... It's not gonna like hurt you or reset the timer or anything like that. So if you hit the wrong one, don't worry about it. So you're, you're pretty okay to go a little bit fast and reckless here. Doesn't matter too much if you accidentally miss. So we just have to go through all the numbers. Kind of an inconvenient camera angle for this challenge. Makes it a little bit hard to see the numbers there. We're almost done. Kind of wish this was a 15 switch puzzle instead of 16, but oh well. Best number right here, we got 15. And there we go, we're done. So we'll get ourselves another golden banana here. You're gonna make me backflip, game? You're gonna make me do a backflip to get that? Fine. Alright, so that's just the second one. I know this episode's gonna be a bit of a long one, but that's kind of how things are when we get to new levels, and I got a feeling you guys won't mind if this episode is long. I'm usually more worried about episodes being too short than being too long. Anyways, let's get back out of here. And now we want to go through this door over here, the R&D room. So we got another another floor to climb. And we're going up to the top floor now. And I can actually grab it. So up here, we're going to have a bunch of stuff for other Kongs, but we're mostly going to just skip on through. We'll go ahead and grab warp number two right here, so we can get back here very easily in the future. And right on through here, we're going to have another lever to pull, so I want to go this way. I should mention, guys, if you are get driven crazy by all these different bananas being here. If you're playing along, feel free to swap over and grab them. I personally don't mind seeing all of them, because I, I just like playing one Kong at a time, so it's not a big deal to me, but if you're just like, man, I just really want to grab those crutters, you know, just go for it, you know, who cares? Anyways, let's go ahead and pull this lever here. Great job, Donkey. So that will open up a couple of holes in the floor. The first one has an arena battle, and the second one over here has some coins for Chunky. And it looks very goofy if you unlock that before you actually get Chunky, because then it'll just look like you're opening a hole to nothing, because you won't even see that those green coins are there. So that's part of why I wanted to unlock Chunky, is just so we can see his green coins everywhere. So these little things on the wall, you can climb these, so we're gonna go take it right up. And up here we've got the arena, so let's go get to it. And this is a tough arena, I would say. Not the toughest by any means, but we're not going to have just critters and naughties now. We're going to have some critters still, but we are also going to have a Kasplat. So these guys are going to be a bit of a pain. Let's go ahead and uh, just keep on attacking into them. You could just run away. You don't have to actually kill these guys, but... Well, I'm just going to keep on killing them, because it gives us a little bit of freedom before they spawn again. Looks like we're going to be coming on back. Got a couple of critters, knock them out, and I always want to make sure I jump over the shockwave. Oh, I jumped right into him. Now you do have to be careful, as I always like to mention, if you get knocked out of the ring, you're going to fail, so you've got to be very careful about staying near the center, so that way, even if you do get attacked, you're not going to get knocked all the way out. We'll jump on this guy's head, and we'll just get this guy with some jab attacks. That guy with some jab attacks as well, and there we go, we survive. I'll even grab some watermelon, why not? And let's go and get that crown. So three out of ten crowns in the game are done. And now back out of here. We're going to skip past that guy. I just want to double check what's up here. I don't think there's anything good. Yeah, so this is another uh, path for Chunky Kong. And I'll go ahead and show you guys a couple of other side paths. So over here we've got a path for Diddy Kong. We're going to have to play his guitar to get through there. And down this way is going to be another side path of... Where is it? Oh, there it is. So this one right here is Lanky Kong, so yeah, we'll have to come back with some other Kongs for that crud. But for Donkey, I just want to go up and go through this door here. So we'll go up this way. And right on through here. So inside this one, we're going to have another yellow banana. And if we drop down here... Oh, I did not mean to play my bongos. Oh, 
What was that, dude? Okay, I think we killed that Kasplat on accident, but I want to drop down here and get right next to a Diddy Switch. Hmm. But also a coconut target, so let's go and shoot that one. And inside this building is the main reason why I wanted to play Donkey first in this stage. So let's go inside. Because inside here, first of all, we're going to have lots of goodies. There's our banana metal for the stage. Or for Donkey, at least for the stage. Let's go grab these bananas as well as these bananas. And now I want to grab this lever. Check out what this does, guys. Earlier in the episode, I said that room was going to be pretty nutty, and that is why. That room gets absolutely crazy, and that is where the Frantic from Frantic Factory comes from. Yep, that room is going to be... Whew, it's going to be a doozy once we get there. So we're going to head on back. Now, we don't have a quick warp to get there, because it's warp 4, and honestly, it only warps to itself. There's two warps in that room, and they're both warp 4. So we're going to have to backtrack just to get there. Actually, we're going to forward track. No, we're going to backtrack. <laughs> we're going to backtrack, dude. Yeah, this place is pretty confusing, man. Even though I've played it so many times, sometimes I still get a little bit twisted around. But here we are inside this big, gigantic, crazy room. And I really quickly want to point out, we will not be getting the blueprints on Donkey today. To get the blueprints, we're going to have to do a bunch of platforming over this way. We've got this platform moving up and down. And we're going to have to climb a lot of this level to get his blueprints. The reason I don't want to do it now is... Up top, there's going to be a tag barrel, and we could very easily just swap the donkey and grab his blueprints real quick once we're up there. And I don't want to have to do this platforming section twice because I'd rather just do it with a character that's going to grab collectibles as we go. So we're going to wait and do that one on a different episode. Also, by the way, these little walls will now open up and shoot out boxes. So you got to be very careful in this room, even on the bottom floor here. But the thing I actually do want to do as donkey is right inside here. In we go. Inside this one, prepare for lots of noise. This one gets very noisy, but we've got a strong Kong barrel. So we'll hop inside and get our ears prepared for danger. We gotta go running through here, and we're not gonna be able to get damaged as long as we're strong Kong. But through here, the camera's gonna be pretty janky and get stuck a lot. But I wanna grab me some bananas. And that'll be the last of the bananas for Donkey. It's right inside here. There's the last of it. Come on, danger. Got him. And let's go on through and grab that golden banana. So now we have everything done for Donkey except for the blueprints. Let's work our way back out of here. I, just, I don't want to listen to this noise anymore, dude. Let's get out. And back to safety. Actually, not safety. This level is never safe. So I'm going to go ahead and immediately pause and say, guys... That is where we're going to wrap things up here for today. We'll come back next time, and we'll keep working on Frantic Factory. Like I said, we're going to be here for several episodes, so buckle in. I'm just excited we got through the Donkey Kong Arcade Crowd without too much trouble, because, man, that one can take a long time. You can get stuck there for a while. Anyways, guys, thank you all so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed, and I'll see you next time. Take care!